this, this sermon that Jesus preached, the Sermon on the Mount, was the greatest sermon ever preached. And, and then he, he starts winding down and he says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does. Only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. In other words, <laughs> he's saying, I, I, I didn't say all this for your listening pleasure. I, I said it to change your life. And, and if you don't do this, you haven't heard this. You haven't heard what I've preached at all. And then like most good preachers, Jesus concludes his sermon with a great story. And it's our story today in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. These words I speak to you are not incidental additions to your life homeowner improvements to your standard of living. They are, you might want to underscore this, they are foundational words. Words to build a life on. If you work these words into your life, you are like a smart carpenter who built his house on solid rock. Rain poured down, the river flooded, a tornado hit, but nothing moved that house it was fixed to the rock but if you just use my words Jesus says <laughs> I like the way the message paraphrases this but if you just use my words in Bible studies and don't work them into your life you are like a foolish carpenter who built his house on the sandy beach and when a storm rolled in and the waves came up what happened to it it collapsed like a house of cards. But as Jesus tells the, this story about these two carpenters, you'll notice some things that were comparable. Uh, first of all, both men, we know, were, were carpenters. That's how Jesus described them. Second, both men built a house. And then third, both men encountered a great storm. But just as there were things that were comparable about these men, there were some glaring contrast. One, Jesus says, was smart, <laughs> and the other was uh, uh, not so smart. Jesus called him foolish. Uh, another contrast was, was in the foundation of the houses. One was built on bedrock, and the other was built on a on a sandy beach. Now, I don't fault the guy for wanting to live on the beach. I mean, who doesn't want to live on the beach? <laughs> a sandy beach is not a good place to build a house. It's sand shifts. It's unstable. Sand can never provide a, a firm foundation. The other contrast was that one house stood when the storms came. One house stood while the other house Collapsed. The house built on the rock didn't budge when the storms came, but the house built on sand folded like a house of cards. But what do we know about the storms of life? First of all, they're going to happen. They're going to come. Second, the storms of life can be unpredictable. Have you noticed that? The, storm, the storms, I'm sure the meteorologists can predict a lot of things about the storms, the weather storms. But the storms of life are a little different. Sometimes you can just wake up and wham, and you're saying, where, where did that come from? Third, the storms of life will impact every one of us. No one is exempt. Jesus said, it rains on the just as well as the unjust. What do you do about the storms of life? Well, you prepare for them in advance. You, you prepare for storms in advance by building your life on the foundation of God's word. Amen? This is what we're building our lives on, the foundational words of Jesus. Now hear this. When it comes to a foundation, you, you can't pour a foundation in the middle of a storm. You can't pour a foundation in the middle of the rain. You can pour it before it rains, you can pour it after it rains, but you can't pour a foundation while it's raining. 
You can't pour it in the storm. So whatever foundation you're going to have, you need to have it solidified before the storm gets here. And when you build your life on God's word, I promise you, your life will stand. There will be integrity. It will be secure. It's solid. And when the rains come and the winds blow, you will stand strong. Amen? These are the foundational words, words to build your life on. And then he says, you know what to do. Now do it. <laughs> you know what to do. Now do it. And so the question that every one of us has to answer is, what will be the foundation of my life? What will be the foundation of my life? Have you answered that question? Uh, who or what are you building your life on? 